forward on the computer. Perfect. Awesome. All right, guys. Well, we're going to go ahead and get started. Uh, as you guys are on the right-hand side, just typing in the chat box where you're dialing in from, we are so excited to have you guys on the line. The first thing I just want to share with you guys is that, number one, the reason why Tuan and I thoroughly enjoy building world is because for the first time ever in our 10 plus year career in network marketing, we have never ever had a situation where can you guys just take a look at where we're at right now. You are sitting at home or out driving in your car, right Shelly? I see her in her car. <laughs> and then um, you're able to get online to do training. Guys, in Tuan and I's career, what we know, knew of training was either going to a convention hall or a hotel space one Saturday every single month for several hours out of that afternoon to do our monthly training. And guys, for this organization, we set it up that we have an incredible opportunity, but the best part about it is we have a product that allows you to virtually build your home-based business from home. Can you imagine an actual home-based building build, business that you can actually build from home? Because I've never experienced that in my career. They say it's a home-based business, but you're literally always away from your home. And so for us, we're just so excited to be able to be a part of something like this and then also be able to bring you back to your family. Because for myself, being a mom, I know that was one thing that I did not enjoy is constantly being away from the home, away from the family. And uh, I understand success takes sacrifice, but for myself, I felt like I was sacrificing more than I really wanted to, especially being a mom to two young kids. And so guys, I just wanna take a second to introduce Tuan and I. Uh, we've been in the industry of network marketing for over 10 years, and I think our journey is like everybody else's. In the beginning, it was not so great, not, not very successful, fell flat on our face, felt like failures, felt like we weren't good enough. And some of you guys might be on the line, this is your first time, or maybe you've never had success in the industry, and you might have those thoughts, and I, guess, and I can tell you guys that's very normal. That's something that I went through in the beginning. I struggled with belief in myself if I could really pull off having success in this industry. And today our goal is to share with you guys what to focus on in order to create the success that you're looking for, whether it's in your business or you know helping your team member get to that point. And so uh, we, we rode along and uh, got to the point where we found World Global Network. Uh, biggest blessing in our life, guys, actually, not to share this with you to be boastful, but to share with you guys the future of where this company will go for you and your family. Now, I don't like to talk about money because if you guys get to know me a little bit better, I really don't care about the big home and the nice cars. Some of you guys on the line may love it. There's nothing wrong with it, but that was never what really drove me to continue to uh, have success in the industry. What it was was taking care of my loved one being able to be present with my family and doing the things that I felt that mattered to me. Now, my, my whys are completely different from everyone else. Obviously, other things drive people, but I can tell you that for myself, the reason why Tuan and I decided to do this was because we wanted to make an income that was substantial enough to take care of our family, but also to be able to take care of our loved ones. So though my motivation isn't always about money, but I definitely needed to know, was there money to be made here, right? Because at the end of the day, we all joined this business for that one specific reason. Was there money to be made for myself, my family, and the people that I love, and the friends and family that were going to join our journey? And guys, I can tell you this, that in the last almost four months, so we're coming up on our four-month anniversary in two weeks, and we just received our 1099 from the previous company that we were with. What we achieved last year in that company, we already surpassed the income earning with World in less than four months. Incredible. I just looked at the 1099. I opened it up this morning and I showed Tuan and I was like, oh my gosh, what we made last year with the last company we exited from, we've already surpassed that earning total in the last than four months that we've been with World. And guys, I can tell you, I never suspected it to grow that fast. I never thought that type of income would, would uh, come into our household so quickly, but because we went on blind faith and we just went all in, that's what ended up happening for us and our family. And guys, we're just so excited to help you guys get to that point. So this is the reason why we decided to do this training in the middle of the Saturday 
And again, I just want to thank you guys for hopping on the line. I know you guys have different things that you're probably in order to do, but you decided to hop on the line. So I'm going to jump straight into it. Guys, first thing I want you to do is if you don't know about our website for our team, I definitely want you to save it, bookmark it as a favorite page, right? Uh, hopefully you have nothing. This is Tuan's Facebook. Okay, guys, so if you don't know about it, write it down. This is our team website. Sorry, it's team-world.biz. So this is the website that you wanna send your newest people to to complete their first step training. If you're brand new, write this website down. Tuan and I are gonna take you through the first step training to really help you launch your business. If you're a leader on the line that already has an organization, guys, keep it simple. Our goal is we want you to replicate yourself so quickly. And the one thing you have to know in leadership is the fancier you are, the more likely you will not grow a fast business. The more simple you are, the more easy you keep it, that's how you replicate an organization overnight. Because you don't complicate it with your fancy skills and your fancy talent. All you do is you replicate yourself by showing basic, simple steps to help someone get paid and promoted. Twan and I randomly threw the site together for our organization because we know that not everyone has time to slow down because not only are you dealing with running a business, running a family, running part-time businesses, side jobs, whatever it is, we all lead busy lives. And so Twan and I put this page together for you that every single time you recruit someone new or your team recruits someone new, go ahead and send them to this website to get their first step training in place. And that's what Twan and I are going to walk you through today is to show you how to do a game plan. And if you haven't gotten a game plan, this will be your game plan. So the first step, the video that Twan and I threw together, as you guys know, we are going to have it professionally recorded very quickly when we have more time. We wanted to just get this up and running for you guys, but we, you want to go ahead and watch it. It's about 45 minutes, pretty straightforward, gives you a little bit of how to's and actually it actually guides you through the first step training worksheet document that all you have to do is click the worksheet, download it, English, Spanish. We will have it in different languages eventually as our team starts to expand out more internationally, but it's the first step training to get you to rank advance to team builder and team developer. Those are the two most important ranks you've got to hit in this company because then it completely unlocks the whole entire comp plan for you so that you can obviously earn as much money through this compensation plan, which is absolutely lucrative. We have so many people that are making great income, whether it's spare time, part time, full time, and beyond full time type of earnings. So guys, go ahead and print this out. If you don't have a printer, have it up on your computer screen and a blank sheet of paper as a guide. And we're gonna go ahead and walk you through the first step training. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump right into it is number one, the most important question on this page is number one, what is your why? And if you've been in the industry for many, many years, I'm sure you've heard this time and time again and you're probably tired of it. But guys, I'm telling you this, if you do not have a strong why, you will quit for any reason. Guys, I'm not gonna lie, it's been a frustrating, most incredible and exciting four months of my life being in world. And as you guys know, some of you guys were there in the beginning with Twan and I, some of you guys have come in midway, and some of you guys are brand new. I can tell you that building a business, I don't care if it's in network marketing, if it's traditional, if it's out there, if you're hosting Airbnb, if you're running Uber, I guarantee it's never easy. Nothing in life that's worth it is ever easy, right? The reason why I say that is because no matter which business avenue, even your job, you just have to show up and do the work you're assigned to do and get your paycheck. But guys, can you honestly tell me that you go to work happy every single Monday morning? They say that most heart attacks happen on Monday. Guess why? Because that's when you're stressed out, you're starting your week over, you're dealing with a boss that you hate, you, you're dealing with coworkers that you can't stand, right? Guys, nothing in life that you have will ever be easy. So my whole point is make sure your expectations are in the right place, that life is hard. It doesn't matter what you're pursuing. Life will always be hard. But if you have a strong enough reason why, you will always try to find a way, okay? For myself, I can tell you that I've been through a lot. As uh, I'm 31 years old, 
And I'm sure a lot of you guys have experienced a lot of life. I am not saying that I know everything because it's not possible. I'm only 31 years old, but I can tell you I've been through a lot. Why haven't I given up on life? Because I have a strong will to keep going. That every time I feel discouraged, every time someone says something negative to me, when my family beats me up for what I do, because you guys might think like, oh my gosh, Twana Van must live the perfect life. No, my whole entire family doesn't support me in network marketing. The only person that supports me is my mom. My brothers and sisters think I participate in a scam. As much income as we, um, as we made, they don't care. They just think that I do a scam. I bought real estate because of network marketing. And when I purchased the real estate, they didn't even congratulate Twan and I for doing that. We're about to buy a home and they don't even care. They're just like, oh, whatever. You know, they, they kind of brush it off. But my whole point is, guys, we go through the same thing you go through. We have the same situations that you guys all deal with, but the only difference is Twan and I choose not to live there. We choose to look at it as just an obstacle in the road that we have to work past in order for us to get to where, we're, where we want to be. We know where our end destination looks like. We just know that the road there is never going to be straight. So if you have the right expectation, you have a strong enough why, I guarantee you will work past it every single time. There's a saying that I tell myself all the time, my, mess, my message box is going off the roof. That means there's something wrong, right? Because it normally does that. No? Okay, sorry. Okay, guys, I have like the squirrel mentality. So if the bubble lights up, I do get distracted. So I just want to make sure nothing was going on. <laughs> okay, because last time I didn't look at the message and apparently something was blocking the view of the, the, of the screen. So guys, as I was saying, if you have a strong enough why, it will help you to have a better perspective of what's going on instead of freaking out every time something goes wrong, right? Because I used to have that personality where I would stress out all the time when nothing was perfect. And guys, I got to a point where I realized nothing will ever be perfect. I have a quote that lives in my head every single time something happens and I start to feel like I'm going to stress out. I just tell myself, in the end, it always works out, right? Think about all the situations you've been in, all the bad that's happened to you, where you're sitting right now. Didn't it always end up good? Well, whether you liked it or not, you had to go through the struggle, but in the end, aren't you okay? You're not dead, right? So we all get through it. Eventually it becomes better. It doesn't feel good going through the moment, but I look at it as that every time I go through some sort of struggle, it's a life lesson that I'm trying to get taught right now, right? Whatever your belief is and your faith is, I believe everything happens for a reason, whether it's a learning situation, uh, it's a growth expansion within yourself. It all happens for a reason. So embrace it. Know that it's a part of your life and try not to fight it, right? We all tend to try to fight life and think like, this is not the way it's supposed to happen. Everything happens for a reason in its time and eventually will help you get to where you want to be. But you've got to be willing to embrace that journey so that you can actually enjoy it, guys. I, when I get mad, I still have a big smile on my face. I was actually talking to a group of people the other day about how I lost all my pictures and all my videos of my kids for the last two years because my iPhone decided to crash on me. But I still had a big old smile on my face, but I said I was mad, right? Because the way I look at life is the glass is always half full. I always see opportunity in everything. And guys, this is the reason why the, the success that Twan and I have had, whether it's in network marketing or other businesses that we own, is because we just expect it. We have such a strong why. We know why we're doing this. We have kids that we need to take care of. I have a mom I need to take care of. I know my husband wants to fulfill the dreams of uh, you know, investing with his mom. His mom is doing great financially. She doesn't need any help, but she's always wanted her kids to participate in her business ventures. And so that's what Twan's goal is. He wants to just make his mom happy while she's here on earth. So guys, if you have a strong enough why, it will drive you to have the right philosophy. So ask yourself, what motivates you? What, what drives you at, you know, what constantly keeps you up at night? The things that keep you up are the things that you're constantly worried about. And guys, I promise you, if you have money, it's not going to make your life better, but it definitely will give you better choices. It will give you the ability to not have to worry about the money monkey. Guys, we've been without money and we've been with money. And I can promise you life feels so much greater when you can swipe your card and never have to worry about how much is in your bank account. I like the fact that if I go to the store, I don't have to limit my choices because of my budget. So guys, I'm telling you this, whether you're on the line agreeing with me or not agreeing with me, I don't care what you say. I don't love money, 
but I love the choices that I have when I do have money. And guys, as long as you have the right philosophies, you teach the right thing, you will be a good person. So guys, what is your why? What's keeping you up at night? What's, why are you doing this business? What is it that you've always wanted to achieve, but you never saw yourself that you could do it or you didn't have the vehicle? So what is going to motivate you? What's going to keep you excited when you're feeling discouraged? What's going to take you out of the funk when you're in it, right? Ask yourself those questions. Write those reasons down. You know, whether you want to get out of debt, is it you wanting to provide a better life, taking your kids to a better neighborhood, you know, retiring a spouse, helping an elderly parent that you have that cannot afford to be retired, right? There's so many different avenues that I know you guys are thinking of and don't let your limiting beliefs stop you from writing it down. Don't let the, your own mind tell you that you can't accomplish it because I can tell you that I'm normal like everyone else. I have my own insecurities. I feel at times I'm ugly. I feel at times I'm not, I'm not worthy. You know, whatever I've said in my head, I've said it before and whatever you're thinking, I've thought it before. But I can tell you that I've always worked past it because I always had a strong enough why. For myself, it was always my mom. I grew up with a single mom. We struggled. And I knew when I grew up, I wanted to find a way to financially help her. And I don't care what people say. I just knew what I wanted for her. And I was able to do that four and a half years ago. I retired my mom. Till this day, she's still retired. Twan and I give her a portion of our income every single month in order for her to never work again. Do you know how great that feels? For myself because I feel like I still owe my mom so much more for all the things that she's done but guys when you get to the end result it's the most amazing feeling to be able to accomplish it and say you did it right so write down all the reasons why you want this business to work for you okay next thing is to set your goal right guys your goal is again go get team builder and that's getting two executive packs or premium packs left and right now yes you can do it another way but guys right now I want to talk about what's the fastest way to get you paid and promoted because at the end of the day, if I can help you get a check immediately, you will get excited because you know this business works. They always say the first check is the belief check, right? Once you get a deposit, whether it's $5, $10, $100, $300, $1,000, it's a belief check to know that, wow, if I can do $100, why can't I do $1,000? Once you hit $1,000, you're going to ask yourself, why can't I go for $5,000, right? So the more money we help you make, the more belief you're gonna have in yourself in this business that it can help your family out financially. So the goal is go get two executive packs, one left, one right. The moment you do that, you lock in your 20% to the binary to infinity. Guys, hear that word infinity, that means never ending. Even if it goes 200 generations down, you will make 20% in total sales in your pay, whatever leg you, um, the amount you can match, okay? I'm gonna say whatever amount you can match, right? You get recognition. Once you qualify for that, your next step is just to replicate two that get two that get two, okay? Once you hit out team builder, you go for team developer. How do you hit team developer? We'll help your two go get their two. You lock in team developer, and that actually unlocks the rest of the comp plan for you where you actually qualify for the special perks. And when you hit a certain rank, you get the car bonus, all those other things that come with the compensation plan, you unlock it. And guys, I can tell you this, that when Twan and I first got started in World Global Network, we've never built a binary before. And we asked our sponsor flat out, what can we do to make the fastest amount of money because we need to replace an income? And he flat out just said, go get two. And I said, okay, I'm going to keep it that simple. I did not know the comp plan. I barely knew the presentation. And guys, you're going to laugh. And some of you guys may have witnessed this. But in the beginning, Twan and I were doing presentations and saying it all wrong. We had the information wrong. We had the structure wrong. We had the concept wrong. Everything was wrong. But you know what was right? Our attitude and our excitement. You know that we went for almost a month without product. And almost a month without a website, no one had a website. And there's a story behind the story, which one day you guys may hear it. But just know that we didn't have product and we did not have a website. But you know, the day we launched, how much business we were able to put in? Uh, over $150,000 worth of Hilo sales went in within 24 hours because of this. We said, go get your two. Every time we recruited someone new and they looked at us, we didn't have this fancy setup because Twan and I did this, but we didn't have it when we first got started. When someone turned to us, they said, what, what do we do? I said, go get two. That was it. 
Tawana and I just said, go get your two, go get your two. I don't know, go get your two. How does the comp plan work? I don't know, we'll figure it out together. That was our attitude when we first got started. We didn't say, well, let me go ahead and break down this comp plan for you, or let me go ahead and break down the specs of the product. Guys, you know that I still don't know how to set up a helo? My husband had to do it for me, and I kind of know how to troubleshoot some helo stuff, but I still don't even really know how to set up the helo. When I got my new phone, I had to ask my husband how to download the app. I don't even know how to do that. I'm not saying go walk around and be a dummy about your business or act uh, incompetent, but what I do know is I know the basics. I know the basics on how to actually run a business, and for myself, I'm constantly motivated for the next newest person to earn a check. That's how I lead, is that not only will I go out and do what I'm asking you to do, but on top of that, every time I look at someone new, my number one goal is how can I get them into action mode right now in order for them to produce a check in order for them to gain more belief in themselves and in this business. That's all I look at when I look at someone new. How can I help them earn their first check? Because if I can do that, everything else will fall into place. Guys, I don't sit down with a new person for three hours and tell them how the comp plan works. I don't sit down and show them how the, how the product works. I, you know, if they have issues, of course I'm gonna troubleshoot with them. But for the most part, my number one goal is you join this business for one reason. You join because you saw the value in the product and you knew you could make some money. So my job as your sponsor or your mentor is to help you make that money. So guys, your goal is always focused on two. When you bring someone new in there, just tell them go get their two. And guys, we're gonna go through how to do it, how the how-tos are and keeping it really, really simple. Okay, these, these dings keep going off. Sorry, I need to see. Okay, cool. Uh, the dings keep going off, so it keeps distracting me. <laughs> okay, so definitely, guys, team builder, team developer, if you not if you have not hit those ranks, make it a goal that you should knock it out by, ten, uh, by Monday. If not, then put it in for whenever. Guys, put down a goal date of when you want this done by. Because if you just say, I want to go team builder, but you don't have a specific date put down, you're really not going to push yourself. Guys, like myself, working out, if I don't ever put a goal down, even though I really don't need to lose like all this weight, it's more of like, I want to work out because I want to stay, uh, I want to stay healthy in general. I, you know, I get body aches if I don't work out, but I put a goal date. Like, okay, my goal is I have to do X amount of this by this date because then it puts the pressure on myself to go do it. I'm not pressuring you to do it. You pressure yourself. You put a goal date in mind, you see it in front of you. You're going to run for it every single day. But if you just Say, I want to go team builder, but you don't have an end date in mind. It's just going to be a dream for a while. You, nothing's pushing you. Nothing's motivating you. Nothing's holding you accountable to when you need to get it done. So guys, put a date down of when you want to hit team build, builder. Once you do that, put a date down of when you want to hit team developer. Once you're done with team developer, what do you do next? Go replicate yourself. Go get your team to team builder. Go get your team to the team developer. Keep doing that. Stay there. That's where the success happens is when you keep it really, really simple. One, uh, next thing is number three, doing a virtual launch party. Guys, these are so crucial in your business. Some of you guys might not even know what a virtual launch party is. Some of you guys don't even know how to host one. Some of you guys might not even see the value in a virtual launch party. But I can tell you guys this, if, you're, if you are on the line only depending on live webinars, you're already slowing down your business because webinars are designed to close your prospects. Virtual launch parties are a, a form of an exposure to get them excited to get to a webinar, right? Virtual launch parties are what duplicate and give you massive amount of exposures in a short amount of time. Between Tuan and I, uh, two days ago, we had a couple of launch parties. Between both him and I, that evening, we helped three of our team members expose over 70 people total. So off of those three launch parties Tuan and I conducted in one day, we exposed over 70 prospects to the product and the business, which pushed them into a live webinar. And whether they got closed on the line or they're still in limbo, they need more information, they want more confirmation, they want to talk to someone, who knows? But guys, in one day, without leaving our house, because of the virtual launch party concept, we were able to expose over 70 people all around the world, whether they were in the US, in another country, didn't matter. Tuan and I got on the Zoom, we just, and we didn't even do anything. We played a video and we shared our story. So I'm gonna walk you guys through on how to do a virtual launch party and by the end of today, get with your sponsor, your upline support, 
Let them know when you want to do your two virtual launch parties, guys, if you have not done one. If you are doing it, congratulations. Thank you guys so much for duplicating yourself because without this, you are missing a beat in your business that will actually allow you to actually close more consumers and close more business partners. So I'm going to walk you guys through on how to set up from start to finish a virtual launch party. First off, what is a virtual launch party? It is a simple Zoom party that you do online. And why is it so effective? Because number one, it's not in your home. So you don't have to clean it up. You don't have to provide food. And number two, you are not asking your guests to come over your house and create inconvenience in their life for putting their kids with a babysitter or having to leave their family. They are sitting from the comforts of their home on a computer no more than 30 minutes at a time. And they're watching the information. Guys, how amazing is that type of business that you don't have to create inconvenience to your friends and family? And on Zoom, you can have them dial in at any place in the world because again, it doesn't require them to come to a specific location. It just requires them to open up the computer, type in the Zoom meeting ID number, and they're able to dial in and watch the information. So how does a virtual launch party is, first, number one, establish your date. When do you wanna do the party? And guys, you can knock this out within the first 24 hours when you get started, because again, you're not prepping your home, it's just done on the computer. How do you do it? So you book your party date. Then step two, everybody needs to go get their own Zoom account, okay? You go to zoom.us, sign up as a free user, okay, right here. Signing up for Zoom is free. They give you 40 minutes, before they kick everybody out of the meeting, which I love because again, that guarantees our parties don't last more than 40 minutes, which again is very convenient for your guests, right? So go sign yourself up, right? You go in there, you type it in. Tuan and I are already members. As you can tell, we're on our Zoom account. When you're done signing up for your free Zoom account, go to your back office by logging in, right? So it says Tuan and Van. Then what you go, you go to my meetings, my personal meeting room. So go there. And then all you have to simply do is copy the invitation, which is right here. You click on it, select all, you know, left click, I mean, sorry, right click your mouse, copy it, right? And what I like to do is I send it to myself on Facebook so that when I get a confirmation, I can go onto my Facebook, select all, copy, send it to a guest, whether it's through text messages or Facebook, wherever. I would like to send them the invitation because all it is is that they look at the invite, click the link, and it directs them to do everything. So that's number one. Go set up your Zoom because you need to be able to have your Zoom ready to send to your guests as you go to invite them, okay? And then when the day of your party, do not dial in right, uh, don't dial in early because again, you get 40 minutes. So I would say dial in right at the strike of the time that you're supposed to start. So if you're supposed to start at 3.30, dial in at 3.30, Give your guest about three minutes to hop on right when it's three minutes after start the whole Zoom party because again, 40 minutes is your limitation, right? And you don't want to get rushed at the end. So what we do is once you set it up, send your Zoom ID number to your sponsor so they're able to dial in and help you with it. Now make sure you have an expert on the side. Guys, if you are a leader on the line and you want to know what an expert does, make sure you take notes from that standpoint. So let's say... Today is Saturday and my Zoom party is supposed to start at 3.30 specific time. So uh, Pacific, sorry, why did I say specific? Anyways, Pacific time, I can't talk today. Um, let's say you guys are my guests on my virtual launch party, okay? So we're on Zoom and all I do is as the new business person that's launching my, my business, all I'm gonna say is thank you guys so much for hopping on the line. I so appreciate your guys' time for jumping on and checking out the new business venture I'm involved in. And guys, I really do appreciate your time. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna play a quick seven minute video for you and we're gonna go ahead and get started. So guys, what you do is at the bottom of your screen, and it says share screen. Click on it, share your desktop. Now make sure you prep the video on, I just put it onto YouTube. I go to YouTube and type in Hilo seven minute video. Put it up on your, your browser, like how you're seeing on my uh, screen right now. Have it prepped like this, okay? Then you click the share screen and make sure you mute out all your participants. And guys, I will do a separate recording on how to set up a virtual launch party. I know right now I'm kind of breezing through it because I don't want to take too much of you guys' time. But 
you prep it, you leave it there, you thank everyone for hopping on the line, you click share screen, and this is what will pop up on their screen. You just enlarge the screen, and then all I say is, I'm gonna go ahead and play this quick seven minute video. An innovation and technology company. The world is the first company to use Toshiba's app. Okay, so you guys get the point, right? You let the video play through because not only do you get to watch it, but everybody on your Zoom is watching it on their computer, their phone screen, their tablet, wherever they're sitting. They're watching the same video you're watching. And guys, remember, when you're doing your virtual launch party, go sit in a quiet area in your house because you, even though you've muted all of your guests, you cannot mute yourself because they need to be able to hear the audio through your screen. So make sure you go to a quiet area and there's no distractions in the background. Uh, and also know that your video screen is on, so don't be shoving food down your face or picking your nose, right? <laughs> right? They're going to be able to see all that stuff. So just remember that because sometimes I get people that forget their video screen is on, right? So that's what's going to happen. You're going to play the seven-minute video, and then once it's done, you stop the screen share like how I'm going to stop right now. It's going to pop up. And then all you're gonna simply do is edify your expert that's on the line and hand them the call. Now guys, depending on what your beliefs are or what you believe, nothing's wrong. I don't like to edify a upline like he's in touch, uh, he's not touchable, right? I like to edify in a sense where they feel comfortable because I'm very, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm the type of woman that actually does business very casually because I feel that's the type of people uh, that I attract is that I don't like pressure and I don't like pressuring other people. And so I don't like weird edification where I feel awkward when someone edifies me in a sense where I'm so, you know, like putting me as if I'm, I'm someone that is incredible, fantastic for myself. I always tell people, Hey, edify me. Like I'm your friend and I am going to become your friend. But just for right now, just say, you know what? I would love to introduce my business partner, Van, her and Tuan have become really good friends of mine and we've been working very closely. They've had success in the company. They're going to be able to uh, answer any of your questions uh, or anything that you want to ask her. She's readily available. She's an open book. And you know what? She's a ton of fun to work with. Um, Tuan is amazing. He knows all the, the answers and things like that. Whatever way you want to edify it, just do it. Don't just invite them on and say, here's my friend, Van, right? Because when you say that, they don't know who you are and there's no accolades attached to it. So they're going to be like, what's up, Van, right? They're not going to really respect you the way you want them to because I'm not, I'm not being edified so that they can admire me. I'm being edified so they'll actually listen to my responses. Because as you guys know, if you go talk to a random person on the street, you don't know what they know, right? That you're not going to really trust what they say, but if you go to the doctors and you know he went to school for it and he's, he's well educated in that area, you're going to take his advice, right? So I want you to edify, but edify in a way that is comfortable. Don't edify a way where it's awkward and do not miss the edification part because that's a big deal. I've had it where someone just threw me on the phone and just said, Hey, yeah, talk to Van. And then they didn't, they didn't sound impressed. They didn't, they didn't really want to take my word for it because they just knew me as Van. They don't know who Van is, right? So edify, but not crazy edify. Okay. So if that makes sense, you know, pick your, uh, pick your verbiage, but make sure you still talk about the accolades so that when your prospects are asking questions, they can trust that the answers are coming from an expert. Okay. And guys, I don't like using upline mentor, expert, uh, leader. That sounds kind of weird, especially don't use leader because I don't like to sound like a cult, right? So try to use friend right? Uh, business partner. That's a great one too. Um, but I like to use the verbiage friend. Friend is always great because again, uh, it makes them feel comfortable, right? Cause it's a non-casual type of situation. So edification, and then you mute your own line out and then your upline leadership will actually do the rest of the work where they'll share their story. And then they'll actually unmute the line for a second to answer a few questions. But again, no longer than 30 minutes. Guys, I don't like presenting. You will never catch me presenting on a virtual launch party because number one, it doesn't duplicate the newest person on the line. They're asking themselves, can they do this business? And if you pull out a slide deck, they're not going to duplicate it. They're going to be like, oh my gosh, I cannot do that. Or they're going to think like, well, I need this person to do my party every single time. And guys, we're looking for leverage. We're looking for the ability for you to earn income, whether you're involved or not. And if you keep getting yourself involved, you're never going to experience leverage income. So again, I don't present slides. I mean, I may pull up pricing points, 
but I never go through the slide deck when I do a virtual launch party. It's usually play the seven minute video, share my story, answer questions, okay? So that's how you do a virtual launch party. And guys, again, like I said, I will release a separate recording to show you how to set up Zoom and do all that stuff uh, later on in the page. But guys, just know that that is what is, that is what's driving Tuan and I's business is that we're constantly doing virtual launch parties. We did one last night. We had a Spanish one going on. We don't even speak Spanish. She was translating for us the whole time. But again, this simple is, uh, the system is so simple that it doesn't matter what language you speak, it duplicates everywhere. So that's what we did last night. Um, and it was fun. They had some great prospects. He's about to sign someone today because of that virtual launch party. They didn't even need the fancy Zoom webinar, even though they're amazing, but they didn't need it. They have just some sort of exposure. We shared our story and they were blown away by it. And so they decided to jump on board today. So guys, that's how you do a virtual launch party. Again, if you have not booked one, get with your upline support and book it today when you're the most excited. Um, I'm actually, I believe, Yes, I believe that's it for myself. So I'm actually going to bring Tuan on and he's going to talk to you guys about recruiting, the how-tos, the approach, what to do, what not to do, talk about social media marketing, what to focus on, how to attract people into your business, not pull them in, right? Because that's the goal is we don't go out and pull people into our business. We attract them to our business. So guys, like I said, if you have not done so, go ahead and get yourself a virtual launch party booked for yourself. And then also be aware there is a new section in our team page called personal growth. Because guys, without personal development, none of your skill sets will sharpen. Because if you're missing this part of the aspect, you are, you are stopping yourself from earning a great income. Because I heard the amount of personal growth you have is the direct reflection of how much money you'll make, right? Napoleon Hill said it best that only 15% is actually based on skill set. 85% is based on working with people. If you are a people person, that's probably the reason why you have success in life. If you are not a people person, that's maybe the reason why you're not getting what you want, right? For myself, guys, I was an introvert. I still am an introvert. I fight it every day and you guys might not think so, but I promise you this, I'm always the first one to hide behind someone. I'm the last to even ever wanna be on camera. Um, but I just knew that in order for me to get a different result, I had to become the different van, right? And so I started heavily working on personal development for myself. I used to, um, I still till this day, I journal everything. I, I try not to look at myself with ego. I try not to focus on the good of myself. I try to focus on what I feel is holding me back from having success. And I journal it. I read books geared towards that direction of whatever I feel I need to change about myself. And it, that, has, that has helped me tremendously. Before I used to struggle with belief in myself. I believe that I wasn't good enough. I believe that I wasn't, uh, at one point I thought I wasn't good looking enough in that last company because it was skincare. I thought I wasn't pretty enough to be a part of the company, right? It's just weird things that we say to ourselves. And I worked and I did personal development. I read aggressively till this day I still read books. And guys, there's a section in here of the basic things that we recommend you start off with as a, uh, as a growing leader in the industry. Uh, I love this book and I will promote it till the end of the days is the richest man in Babylon is something you want to go. And here's the cool part. We've already inserted the links for you. So you go to the website, you click on it. Look, it's five bucks guys. No, you're always going to get a deal when you work with Twan and I, cause our Asian aspect of bargaining is always there. So we're always going to put the link to the cheapest cost, right? $13 for this. Awesome. So you just click on it, buy it and Get it shipped to your doorstep. I think this is a great one. If you don't know how to highlight your why, read this book. Start with why. It's a great book. Uh, Entrepreneur Roller Coaster, loved it. Gives you the right expectation of what to expect in business. So this aspect is amazing. Watch this. Uh, you know, Jim Rohn, incredible. Uh, he's till this day makes Twan and I laugh, even though we've watched this video multiple times. So guys, go to this page. Start doing some personal development because guys, you can have a business plan, but if you don't have a growth plan, it will never work out. Because there's three things I always learned in, uh, in network marketing is either you're not doing it right, not doing it enough, or you need more personal development. For myself, I always take that to heart. I need more personal development. I think I'm the most jacked up person on the line, right? And that's why I'm constantly reading books and filling my head with positivity because I just know anything negative throws off my energy, my aura, 
uh, my vibration to people. And so I'm constantly on top of that. So with that, guys, I am going to go ahead and bring Tuan on the line to give you guys the how-tos of recruiting and how to actually grow a massive, massive business. So I'm going to go ahead and get Tuan on the line. Give me one second, guys. Hey guys, uh, awesome stuff. Uh, honestly, I gotta tell you, Van was incredible on that. She actually, I mean, it uh, just blows me away because what's interesting about, she was talking about personal development. <clears throat> uh, when I first met Van, by the way, I met Van in the industry, by the way. She was, it was a sit down at Starbucks and I thought to myself, man, I don't wanna recruit her, I wanna date her. Anyways, that's another story. All the guys are all fit smiling like, yeah, that's right. <laughs> But uh, we not, we didn't date or anything, you know. It was just a, it was just this, you know, strictly business. And then she quit. I'm like, perfect. That was my opportunity. So on the side note, um, we've been together for uh, nine years. It'll be nine years. that will come up in a few days. But um, my whole point of what I'm trying to say is that I cannot uh, believe how much she's grown, the type of person she's become because of what personal development. And she was really shy, she was quiet, and then now she's been able to do a phenomenal training uh, amongst all you guys, so I'm really proud of her. Guys, uh, uh, what I wanna do is go to the next step and talk to you about how to expose someone to the information. Now, what Van said was about uh, launching your business, right? So within your first, I would say 48, if possible, 24 hours, but I would say realistically 40 to 72 hours, you want to set up a launch uh, virtual launch party immediately. And I get, I get the butterflies. I get the nervousness. And so some of you are not used to technology. You're like, ah, oh, I need to figure out how to get good at this first. Just get with your sponsor, get with your upline diamond and execute a plan immediately because uh, a body in motion stays in motion. They say that uh, education, motivation, and inspiration is absolutely nothing and worthless without implementation. So when you take a look at this information right now, and if Van said, what you got to do is book your parties now, you got to do it within immediately. Right when this, this training is done, you got to get with your, your sponsor or your upline diamond and say, I want to book my parties now. And then work through that process immediately. Is it uncomfortable? Yes. Is some of you? Maybe not. But I will tell you this. There's no success in your comfort zone. So if it's uncomfortable, you're on the right track, okay? I just want you to understand that. So let's transition and talk about the next step, which let me go ahead and actually show you the uh, document and I can pull it up again. And there we go. So the next step is mastering the KISS system, right? So KISS system, this isn't a system where you're walking around, you're kissing everybody, right? Although that might be a great world, right? Everyone loves each other, hugs each other. However, I'm not recommending you do that. Those of you guys that are married, you're gonna get beat up. Don't take my word for that, okay? So all I, what KISS stands for is keep, keep it simple, silly, okay? So we've all learned that um, a confused mind does nothing. So the more confused a person is, the, the chances are they're not going to do anything. So what we've done is we put together a system that's five steps that if you follow it, you're going to be able to enroll customers, enroll distributors and members in your business. So let's go over the first step. Step one is to be able to pique someone's interest. So what does that mean? That means be able to drive, to be able to uh, get their attention, get them to be uh, wondering what you're, what you're doing. So let me tell you the wrong way to do it, okay? The wrong way is to be able to call up somebody up and say, hey, have you ever heard of Hilo? You haven't? Oh my gosh, it is, it has this, it's this product that actually performs an EKG, an electrocardiogram. Uh, ECG, it also uh, monitors your blood pressure. Do you have high blood pressure? You do. You totally need this. You're going to die. Also, in addition, that it, it monitors your breath rate. It even actually has this thing called a guardian. And it actually, be, you get my point, right? Now, some of you are laughing because you probably have already done that already. And that's okay. Have I done it? Yes. I'm guilty. Has Van done it before? Yes. She's definitely guilty too. So we've all have done that. Why do we do that? Because we're excited. We are so excited and we think in our mind that it's okay just to pick up the phone and just start calling and just tell everyone how you feel about something that you just discovered. However, that's definitely not the case. From the other person's perspective, they're thinking to themselves, why are you trying to convince me to buy something that I currently don't have yet? What's your agenda? What, uh, what, are, you selling? what are you selling me? 
And why do people think that? It's, it's just the way it is, right? Society has really programmed our mind to be like that. However, what you want to do is you want to be able to get away from that and you want to, you want to get them curious. So if you're taking notes, I, I'm not really good with scripts, but I can just tell you some philosophies. Number one, you want to drive, you want to pique their curiosity. The more curiosity someone is, the more they're going to say, give me more information. Okay. Uh, how do you do that? Less is more. The less you say, the more you're going to make. Also, less to more. So say less to more people. A lot of times we spend so much time trying to convince one person why they should take a look at the information versus just saying a few little uh, words to get them curious, get, them, get their interest peaked enough for them to say, show me the video. Um, I'll give you an example. I, I share this story so many times because I absolutely love this story. Ben and I, we have a friend named Billy, lives in Northern California. He absolutely is against direct sales, relationship marketing, multi-level marketing, the whole entire industry. Why is that? It's because he uh, he's tried it before and he uh, just didn't, get a, good, he didn't uh, get a good result from it. Think of it like you, uh, you know, you, you've, uh, I don't know, maybe you've driven a car and you actually, maybe the car broke down on you and you're like, oh, this, this brand is terrible. And for the rest of your life, you think that brand is terrible. But in essence, that car just happened to be bad, right? So Billy is a friend of ours we've known for a long time, and he actually literally um, was against network marketing. We keep in touch. We talk out every now and then, and you know we touch base on Facebook or not. Now Billy owns a a, a gym, and also he has his own uh, health uh, healthcare products, right? So really, really great guy, entrepreneur, very successful. Um, so we I decided to actually put him through this system. So the first thing I did was, um, you know, we keep in touch all the time. So the first thing I did was I said, Billy, dot, dot, dot. And he's like, what's going on? And I, I, I thought to myself, how do I just sound normal? So if you're taking notes, be normal. And I said, OMG. And he was like, what, what happened? You have to take a look at this. And he said, okay, what is it? And then I just sent him the link to the two minute video. And I said, all, all I'm asking is two minutes. I just want your opinion on it. So long story short, he ended up watching it. And during the time he was watching it, I could tell he was watching it. He was Facebooking me same time while he, was, he wasn't even done yet. He's like, is this multi-level? Is this MLM? Are you serious? Wow, this is amazing. And he was just commenting back and forth about how impressed he was about the product, right? And then last thing was, by the time it was done, he said, I want one for me and my, and, and my girlfriend. And that's pretty much what he says. He's like, I'm in. I love it. Guys, my whole point of what I'm trying to say is how much conversation did I do with Billy? Absolutely nothing. For some of you, you, uh, you put on this cape on and you are a different person when you're actually approaching people. My, my suggestion to you is be normal. Less is more. Get them curious. But most important, just be yourself. Um, and... Uh, you know, I'll give you a couple of uh, tips, at least, you know, in terms of maybe things to say. I love, you can never go wrong with asking for someone's opinion. Hey, John, listen, um, I'd love to get your opinion on something that I'm really excited about. And I'd love to get your opinion. If I, if, if I can, can I send you a, a link real quick? It's a two-minute video. I just want your thoughts. Okay, cool. What is it? It's a two-minute video. Right. So when some of people ask you what it is, they're not trying to find out what it is. Think about that for a second. Let me repeat that. When someone asks you what it is, they're not trying to find out what it is. What they are trying to find out is if it's, if it's worth them watching the video or not. Now, if you say, hey, um, it's, uh, it's Hilo, it's this product, da, da, da. maybe they've already made a decision and they said, oh, that sounds like Fitbit. I don't, even, I don't need it. So why would you want to give away everything, right? So the whole goal is to drive them, be, be curious, get them curious about it. So again, hey, John, he have no idea. I just found something that I'm so excited about. I'd love to get your opinion on it. If I send you a link that's two minutes, can I get your honest opinion on it? What is it? It's something I just found out. I'm excited about it. It's just two minutes. You guys notice that? I just repeated the same exact thing. And guess what, guys? For most people... That's good enough. 
And I just, I literally just say, it's only two minutes, John. Can I just send it to you right now? I'd love in the world to know if I can get your opinion on it. Guess what John's gonna say? He's gonna put his nose up, he's gonna be like, yeah, of course I wanna give you my opinion. Everyone loves giving their opinions, right? You see it on Facebook. That's one of my favorite ways to approach people, okay? Another way you can approach is tell them your why. Like for example, you can call up Frank and say, hey Frank, listen, um, you know, I've been telling you, I've been living check to check, I've been struggling, I've been trying to find ways to just to make an extra income so I can stay home with my kids. Yeah, well, listen, I think I found a way. Oh, what is it? Well, I'd love to get your opinion on it. If I send you a two minute video, would you be able to do me a favor and click on the link and just watch it right now? Keyword, right now. Yeah, okay, great. I'm sending it to you right now. Can I call you back in five minutes? Yes, perfect, I'll call you then, thanks. Okay? So I'm giving you guys some serious tips. If you can follow that system in terms of either, either not sharing what it is, but why you're doing it. And then second of all, asking for someone's opinion, saying less to more, be normal, get excited when you're approaching someone. That is going to make all the difference in the world when you're approaching people. So step one is peaking their interest. Okay. And we got some scripts for you right there. If you want to be able to copy that, but I promise you, it's not what you say. It's how you say it. Step two is to show the two minute commercial and or the seven minute overview. My favorite is two minutes. Why? It's because 15 minutes, way too long. Two minutes is just enough, right? So showing the two minute after they take a look at it, you follow up with them and you just, you know, you just ask them, did you like it? What'd you like most about it? Guys, if you're taking notes, I, don't ever ask them, what do you think? I don't ever ask them that. Why? Because you ask, like, say it out loud for a second. Hey, so what do you think? It sounds like, what do you see wrong, right? And every, when our brain is wired negative, by the way, so instead of asking, what do you think? I love asking them, hey, so what did you like most about what you just saw? Or you can say, hey, what was the one thing that stood out to you the most? What was the one thing that got you excited when you saw that? And what they're gonna do is they're gonna find that one thing that excited them the most. Well, I really love the fact that this product gives you a panic button. Oh, yeah, honestly, me too. I know exactly how you feel. I felt the exact same way, and here's what I found out. And then you just transition, okay? So I know exactly how you feel. I felt the same way. Here's what I found out. And then at that point, you can actually literally show the seven-minute video, which I highly recommend. And then after the seven-minute video, you go to step three, and you introduce the expert. So what the expert's going to do is they're basically going to be able to share their story, and they're gonna either, some, in some cases, they might be ready to get started, but in most cases, the expert's gonna invite them out to the webinar. Now, I will also recommend you that number three and number four can be flopped, okay? Meaning, you can literally, number four is you can invite them out to the webinar after that, and then after the webinar, you can put them on the phone with the expert. Either way is fine, guys, in my opinion, all right? I'm not the type of person where it, you have to follow exactly to the T. This is just the backbone and use your own style to be able to adjust it. But literally follow with what with this within this step. If you can follow these steps from the what I've showed you, you can literally have massive success. Because at that point, when they come to the webinar, they're not coming for information, they're coming for confirmation. Imagine if you invited someone directly to the webinar right away. They're thinking to themselves, wow, this is a lot of information. They say that, how do you feed an elephant? By eating them one spoonful at a time. It's such a weird saying because I would never eat an elephant, but it is a saying, right? So you take them, bite, take them steps, it's two minute, seven minute webinar. And at the webinar, you can introduce them to an expert where the expert shares their story and ask them, do you see an opportunity to get started? And chances are, if you follow through these four steps, they will get started. And once they get started, step five is to duplicate the same process. So we teach them steps one through five and repeat the same cycle. Guys, if everyone followed this, your team would multiply and explode because all they're going to do is they're going to go out there and pique everyone's interest. Instead of selling, they're just delivering the information to them. And then they're just collecting information, whether they like it or they don't, doesn't matter. They're just emotionally detaching themselves from the result, and then they're just showing the information, guys. So that's step four, which is learning the KISS system. Step five is building your list. When you're making your list, 
your list is the gasoline to your business, okay? So um, the bigger the list, the better. Uh, what I will tell you this is you want to kind of start with a list of 100, but once you make a list of 100, I would literally break it down to your first 50. Why? Because when you have a list of 100, it might be overwhelming, but if you can break it down to 50 solid people that you can talk to, it's going to get your wheels in motion, okay? So uh, your list here, though, I will tell you this. You don't want to prejudge anybody. You don't want to think, wow, this person needs it. This person wants it. This person can afford it. You just never know. Ben and I, uh, being in this industry for this long, we've had so many people, so many people that we actually wrote their list down that end up signing up with somebody else. Um, I know some of you guys are probably laughing around because you're like, oh, that happened to me. Uh, Van and I actually had somebody that we were actually making a list and um, we actually ended up putting her on the list. And um, I, I know I was thinking to myself, well, she's already successful. She's actually wouldn't be interested in looking at world. I mean, why would she? She's already doing well with something else. And I actually literally skipped her, uh, past her name. Recently, I ended up finding out that she actually ended up joining world through a different team. Oh, she was super successful in this industry, but I prejudged her because I thought to myself, she would never do this. She doesn't even like technology. So guys, I will tell you this. If you're not putting them on your list, someone else is, and they're going to sign up. So don't prejudge anybody. And you want to think in your mind is you're, you're just jogging your memory. Okay. And uh, I would highly recommend, these are the few key people that I would highly recommend writing on the list. People that have been in this industry before, people that have been direct sales or uh, network marketing, relationship marketing, write their name down. Why is that? Because they're entrepreneurs. They uh, understand the industry. They understand the philosophy. So I'll write their name. Second type of person I'll write down is people that are entrepreneurs, people who are self-employed, they own their own business, traditional business owners. I'd write their, those names down. Why? Because they get the concept of uh, being an entrepreneur and owning their own business and having control of their time. The third type of person or I would say would be people that are movers and shakers, excited people, talkative, talkative people, people, people. And lastly, people that are uh, own their own home or people that actually have a, a stable job. Those are the people that I would really truly write down on your first 50 and then everybody else fill in the blank. Okay, guys. Now, once you make your list, they're going to fall into one of three categories. They're, do you feel comfortable inviting them to your virtual launch party? If you do, then you want a check box right there. If you feel comfortable actually booking a sit down with them, maybe they're local to you and there's somebody that you feel like, I got to get in front of them. I, I want to invite them for a cup of coffee. Then you want to actually check off sit down. If there's someone that you just want to be able to put them through the KISS system, you want to pick up the phone, uh, pique their interest, and send them a video. But what you want to do is you want to categorize them now so that when you go through your list, you know exactly which uh, activity that you're going to do with each person so you don't sit there and wonder, what should I do? This is gonna create that system for you to move through as fast as possible so that you can become a team builder and a team developer immediately, okay guys? Now the last step is to get connected to our communication system. Uh, there's what a saying is massive communication equals massive income. So. Not only that you stay connected, but make sure that your team stays connected. So we have a calendar. The calendar is found on the team website, which is team-world.biz. When you go in there, there is an events calendar. At pretty most, it's pretty up to date. And as we continue to have webinars on there, we will actually uh, basically upload it on there. Now, some our webinars are Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. And it's at 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern. Okay, so we have three, uh, three times a week, three times a week, once a day. However, um, the team is actually uh, very supportive, and they are really excited. And sometimes we actually have what I call improv webinars. So you want you want to do is you want to stay connected to the Team World Facebook group. So if you're not part of Team World Facebook group, you want to make sure that you're. Your, um, your sponsor invites you to the group because it is a closed group. You want to get invited to the group so that on Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday, or Saturday, if there is an improv webinar, you are first to know about it and you can promote it to your team, okay? 
So make sure you're plugged into that. Make sure you check out the team, uh, the team uh, events calendar. And then also plan for the next world opportunity presentation. So our presentations are on webinars. So when you look at the calendar, find out when the next one is. Make sure you, if you haven't attended one, hop into it so you get the feel of it. And I highly encourage you to set a goal to invite at least one to two guests to take a look at the information. Also, plan for the next monthly team training event. So next week, we're going to actually have a training on Saturday. It's from 10 to 2. It's going to be updated in, uh, by the end of the day. So make sure you visit the calendar. You'll learn about it once a month. We actually have a training where we go over all the details of our 557 system to how to approach and uh, where all the events are. And we do recognition on there. It's virtual. So you want to make sure you uh, find the date to that as well. It, like I said, for this month, it will be updated on the calendar by tonight so that you can see that. Uh, frequently asked questions. I know there's a ton of questions that you guys are going to have as a new person. Tech questions, how does the blood, uh, blood pressure work, stuff like that. I get that. Um, I would say don't focus too much on it. I know some of you guys are you know, detail-oriented, and I get that. You want to visit worldgn.com. Tons of information on there. Uh, CNWorldGN.com is actually Chad and Natita, our sponsors, um, you know, website. There's a ton of stuff on there. And of course, team-world.biz has a lot of resources on there. And there's a frequently asked question on there as well. Okay. So know what your website is. Your website is your username that you created, .worldgn.com. You know, already know what your username is and you make sure you know what your password is. The last thing I would say is your upline support team. You have, I would highly recommend if you don't know who at least three upline supports that you have, I highly encourage you to get with your sponsor and ask them, who are my three, who are three upline uh, that I can actually get support from just in case you're not available. You want to get their name. You want to find out what rank they are and you want to make sure that you get connected with them. Even if it's an audio message. Okay. And you connect with them. Why is that? Because just in case if your sponsor is not available, that you are connected to other people that, it, that you can reach to do, whether it's a three-way call, or maybe you want to host another virtual launch party. you got to have an expert that's going to support you guys. We can't get there alone. Okay. It's going to take a team of people to help you reach your goal. And we're all here to do that. Okay, guys. So Here's my last thought to you as we wrap things up. It's all about taking action. So let's recap a few things, okay? Van talked about setting up two virtual launch parties. I highly encourage you that by the end of this webinar or this training to book two immediately. Immediately. Set the date, set the time. When do you do it? 48 to 72 hours. Have two of them. Why is that? Because if you invite to one, they say, oh, I can't make it. Oh, did I say Monday at six? I totally meant Tuesday at six, right? They're like, oh, okay. Well, in that case, I'm available. So make sure that you set the date, get that out of the way right away. So now you have a commitment, right? And what do people do when they have a commitment? They keep that end of the bargain, right? So get yourself out there, set that date right away. Number two, make your list. Go for, go for 100, go through Facebook and jog your memory. Highlight 50, I mean, pull out 50, uh, circle, uh, make sure that you have 50 available that you're going to work with, and then at least get 10 in play. What I mean by that, as you are start inviting, get 10 of them in play right away. Get 10 of them to see a two-minute commercial. Get 10 of them to be able to see a seven-minute video because a, 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 a wheel, a ball in, uh, what is it, a body in motion stays in motion, okay? Because if you don't, by the time you hang, hang up right here, you're going to walk out. You're going to do different things. Heck, it's dinner time, right? You eat, you get excited, you forget about it. Now, guess what? You're back to where you were, okay? Make your list, book your two parties, get your wheels in motion. Make sure that you uh, stay connected with your three uh, upline support. And guys, the last thing I say is um, we got some launch events happening. Southern California, we have a launch event. The date is actually on the Facebook group. We have a uh, Atlanta event that's coming up, uh, you know, actually coming up, uh, I think in the next uh, less than 30 days. So we're going to upload that flyer as well. So if you are in the vicinity of Atlanta, ATL, you want to make sure you know the date to that, the flyer to that. Uh, 
Calvin and B. Shaw, amazing. There's new, they're going to be upcoming diamonds. They're hosting that event. So we have a SoCal event coming up next 30 days. We have a ATL event coming up in 30 days. Hawaii, you know, none other than uh, our very own president in Hawaii, Taulia Lave, uh, is actually hosting the event. So make sure you plug into that as well. It's actually coming up on the 17th of this month. And uh, what else am I missing here, guys? Um, uh, oh, uh, Fredericksburg, Virginia. So uh, DC Metro. So if you know anyone in Washington, DC, Virginia, or Maryland in that area, you want to make sure that you plug, uh, plug, plug into that event or you have any contacts in that event as well. Uh, flyers are all going to be uploaded. There's event rights to all of them. Pre-register to all of them if you can, guys, because, guys, we're going to knock this out of the ballpark. I promise you this, okay, Van and I, from Van and I will tell you this, if you hang on tight, 2017 is the launch year, okay? It's the launch year. And I, I mark my word, you put in your dues, you work hard, you're going to be able to see and you're going to reap the rewards, okay? That's, I'm telling you, and there's a lot of great things happening. We're here to support you. You can tell that Van and I, your support team, your leadership, we all care about you. We want to see you succeed. and. Uh, I don't know where Van is, but I think I want to make this quick announcement. So before we wrap things up, um, April, mark this on your calendar, April 7th and 8th, April 7th and 8th, which is the Friday and the Saturday, we're having a, so we're having a team event. Okay. We're having a team. It's a flight event. We're going to have a guest, guest trainer, and uh, it's going to be a two day event. And we're talking about advanced training how to run your entire business virtually from home, how to manage your time, how to plan your day, how to actually structure your entire business, how to maximize the compensation plan. We're going to have a two day event, event 60 days from now. And we'd love for you to go. Okay. The, the ticket is honestly, I'm telling you it's 30 bucks. Okay. We're not here to try to make money off of you or anything. Like we're going to, we're going to do whatever it takes to eat the cost, whatever it is. But it's a thirty dollar event, and best thing is, it's right across the street from the from the uh, from the airport. So we're making it so convenient for you, so that literally when you go and you're coming back, you know exactly how to run a virtual business from home. And guys, we have big events. We have events, launch events from 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 now to then, getting into April seventh, eight. So the location will be in Southern California. So. By that time, it's going to be sunny. It's beautiful. It's right down the street from the beach. So you can make sure you take a Sunday off and hang out and be able to enjoy your time there. But it, we will have a flyer with the Eventbrite available. Give me a band within 48 hours. We only have 290 tickets, I think, 280 tickets. So uh, once we launch it out, guys, make sure that uh, you grab your ticket immediately. And uh, during that time, I think flights is going to be really good because it's not summer yet and it's just good enough to be able to get it right at the price. So guys, um, that's pretty much it. Um, where, where are the dates again? So it's Southern California. It's going to be, you're flying into John Wayne Airport, Orange County. It's April 7th and the 8th. So the, the, two, the, two, the dates for the event, the training will be April 7th and the 8th. Fly will come out within 48 hours to make sure that you guys are really plugged in and know what's going on, guys. So uh, we're very excited about it. Guys, without, having said all that, please just focus on what, we, what is most important is help you become team builder and team developer within the next week. So with that, guys, thank you so much. We appreciate you. Enjoy your Sunday. Uh, oh, whoops, Sunday. Enjoy your Saturday and uh, spend time with your family. And uh, we look forward to seeing you guys at the next webinar. Take care, everybody. God bless.